if you have one of these Harbor Freight Central pneumatic air compressors and you find you do not have enough pressure to run your air tools, a sandblaster, or like an air sander or an impact wrench, it acts like it just doesn't have enough pressure. Well, that's because these have a, and a valve on the back here. I've removed mine. It goes see, right in between here, so allow you to adjust the pressure right here at the uh, compressor. Well, that valve is just way too restrictive to use with tools. And all you really have to do is unscrew this chuck from it. I use some Teflon tape, remove the valve, and screw it right back in to the uh, pressure body here. And that'll give you all the pressure you need. I can now use my spray gun. I can use my air sanders and my impact wrench with this and it, it works with no trouble now. The pressure works much better and all those tools have their own regulators and I recommend running your tools that way. You know, just hook the regular right up at the tool if you need it. Otherwise, remove it. Now this thing is still extremely loud so I plan to eventually move it outside my garage but I'm also going to replace this muffler here, this muffler filter with something a little bit more substantial to help deaden some of that noise. I'm going to attach a few magnets to the uh, the tank here, which acts like a, a bell as it gets louder. You can hear that. And I'm going to spray some rubberized coating on it like Flex Seal just to help deaden the, the uh, vibration as it's running, and that should help some as well. So that's just a, a quick little tip. I'll see if I can put up an image of the, the regular here. I can't find the one I took off, so you can uh, See what it is that needs to be removed, but uh, yeah, that'll solve a lot of your problems with these. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.